Hey crafty people, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why don't you hit that subscribe button too? <laughs> so today I have another how-to. I got these brushes from Altenew. I got the fine detail set because I really like the look of the handles how they've got that extra bit and I think that will be really helpful for people who have difficulty with holding things um, or dexterity issues which I have um, you don't always see it because I don't I don't if if it gets really bad then it, it's not in the video because the thing that I've made didn't work <laughs> so um, but yeah so I thought that seeing as I had these we could do a how to brush care so as you notice when you get a new brush or new set of brushes whatever um the bristles will be like almost set um and that's just some residue from how they were made um and how they're shaped so the best thing for you to do is don't try and like rub it off or anything like that just dissolve it in a little bit of water um i'm dipping it in and then gently um wiping um and manipulating the bristles just very very gently um just to help get all that residue off until you have um you've got a, a brush that feels as it should um the little brush rest that i'm using there is awesome um my dad actually made it for me in his 3d printer which is cool <laughs> i showed him um some pictures of really cool brush makers uh, brush holders that i'd seen and asked if there was any way that he would be able to make them in his 3d printer which he loves to use um and he did so so that's awesome um but also one of a kind sorry <laughs> so i'm just doing all of the brushes you get four in the set um the reason why I'm resting them on that brush rest is you need to be careful when you've got your brush wet you need to let it dry um, naturally um, and you want to let it dry so that you, you don't want to put it standing upright in a pot or anything like that while it's drying because that water will run down um, under the metal ferrule I think that's how you say it ferrule ferrule anyone know <laughs> let me know if you do <laughs> um the water will run down into that and it can eat away at the glue that is holding the brush together so basically it's going to wreck your brushes and we don't want that so leave them horizontal to dry just showing you that the Alter new case that the brushes come in actually turns into a stand to hold them which I think is pretty awesome um I did just play it up <laughs> exactly what I told you not to do but only for a second and I know that there isn't a lot of water because I didn't even dip the brushes into the um I didn't dip the ferrule bit in so yeah I just I think they they look really nice, don't they? <laughs> I like the little gold bottom and the um the the black ferrule on them. Um, I'm excited to use them. So once you've wet your brushes and you've got all of that off, then you're good to go. Um, store your brushes however you want. Some people store them horizontally. Um, I've got most of mine in this little tub that sits on my pegboard so that I can reach them but I think I will put the alternate ones back in their case and put those in a drawer um, because I just like the case <laughs> um, so I'm just showing you that some of my brushes I've not I've probably not looked after as much as I should um, and others my daughters have got hold of <laughs> um, and if you scrub too hard with your, your brush um, or you put it in the pot bristle side down anything like that you can just wreck the the brush shape you're going to lose that that shape that the that the brush was made to be in um so i got a really fine brush um but so yeah that's just a quick how to store your brushes and what to do when you first get a brush how to get it ready to paint with 
If you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any other ideas, if there's anything that you would like me to tackle in my um, how-to series, if there's something you're unsure of, then please do give me a shout. I would love to help you out. I hope you all have a lovely, happy, safe, wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.